Hello everyone, welcome to EPAX 3D, my name is Jesus, and today I'll be taking you through a quick tutorial on leveling your platform. For this tutorial, you're going to need an Allen key and just a piece of printer paper. For some machines, you'll have a 3mm Allen key, but for the E10, you're going to have a 2.5. Now, this leveling method will be applicable to, a crop, to all of our machines, so that you can just use this as a general guide for leveling it with it, which, whatever machine you have. All right, so first things first, we're going to loosen these four screws around the platform. Okay, then we're going to send the platform to the home position. Next, we're going to hold down the platform like so, trying to apply even pressure along both sides of the platform. Not too much though, you don't want to push too far in. Just enough to keep it held down while you're tightening the screws. So we're going to go just in a kind of crisscross pattern here. And we're going to tighten them down a little bit at a time until they're fully tightened. Cool. All right, so now that we've got the build plate level, we're going to test the level just to make sure everything's good. I want to do this using a sheet of printer paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay a piece of printer paper across the screen like this. You want to make sure you're not covering the back edge of this tape because otherwise you'll get a false sense of tension from the paper. So we're going to go ahead and put the platform back on here. We're going to send it back to the home position. All right, so now we're just gonna tug on the paper. Now, you should be able to pull the paper out with some effort, not too much that you end up ripping the paper or that the paper simply just pulls the printer forward. So that looks pretty good to me. The tension's pretty, pretty tight there. Um, and just so you guys know, we do use a piece of printer paper because it kind of simulates the thickness of NFEP. They're about 25 microns off in thickness, but it's pretty close. And as long as you get it to that kind of sweet spot of tightness, you should be good to go. Now, in the case that you're not good to go and you're still feeling a bit of looseness with your build plate, what you can do is you can go over to the manual section and you'll see this screen here, and you can hit the 0.1 millimeter increments and you can actually go down manually a bit just to add a bit more tightness. You don't want to go down too far. If you go down too far, you end, you end up pushing the build plate into the screen. So just be careful how much you're doing this. Make sure you're using that piece of paper to kind of feel that tension where that sweet spot's going to be. Uh, but if you do do this, just remember that you have to set Z is equal to zero here. I'm going to hit that. We're going to hit confirm. And that will set your print start position. So most of the time you want your z equals zero position to be the same as your home position but it's not always going to be the case your z equals zero position is where your print starts and it does not change the home position so if i hit z equals zero and if i i've set the build plate you know 0.3 millimeters down I hit z equals zero so it's 0.3 millimeters below the home position the home position is only going to be dictated by the position of this optical sensor. Unless you move this optical sensor up or down somehow, um, or you maybe change the optical sensor, this is always going to be the home position. This is always going to be dictated by that. But the Z equals zero position is always going to be dictated by the software. So if you ever re-level again after you've you know set the Z equals zero position, I would make it a good habit to just set it where whenever you re-level. That way you know your print is going to start at the position where you've got it leveled and you got it in that sweet spot. All right, so one last thing I want to talk about before we uh, take off for this video is this plate right here. 
This is the optical sensor's trigger plate. It basically triggers the optical sensor to tell the printer when it's reached the home position. Now, this is an added bit of adjustability on the E10 and E6. I don't believe it's currently on the X series, but we may add that in a revision later. So it's just basically an added piece of adjustability. You can adjust the trigger plate up if you want the plate to come down later. So if you're not having enough room here uh, or beneath the build plate, then you can adjust it up and the build plate will hopefully reach the screen before it triggers the plate again or the optical sensor. Now, if you're adding like a flexible build system, you know, you're adding that little bit of extra thickness to the platform, you want to adjust this trigger plate down so it hits the, uh, the sensor sooner. That way you have a lot more room left between your plate or your, your plate and your screen. So uh, that should be it for leveling the platform. Uh, you can shoot us an email at support.epax3d.com if you have any questions or uh, send us a message on Facebook.